The question to ask is really, do we want Franz back? That is really the question. Do we want Angoulême? No. Although we have a claim on it. Could claim the whole of France. 14,000 against 20,000. Let's check our factions real quick. And there are some. Can't help her anymore. Can't revoke her title. So there's some danger here. We can still help him see the light and drop out of his faction, maybe. Uh, right, right, right. I suppose we need to try and restore world order. You are fighting them over Thüringen. Thüringen is somewhere over here. All right. We will press our claim on France. Raise our troops, raise our ships. And... Back to normal. Get those ships up. ships go here too all these ships go here you wait for these men you guys wander over there as well and come here these men will walk up to here I suppose. Alright, let's unpause. Slow it down a little bit. You guys sail here as well, please. There are 5,000. We need more ships. I never learn. Do I? Did you hire mercenaries? Is that what you what you did? Yeah, he hired mercenaries to match us a little bit, but that'll be fine. Ay ay ay! Like just these. Still need more ships. We'll send these troops. Here, uh, why do you always want to go through Bordeaux? Don't go through Bordeaux, go this way. All right, you guys can go march onto these ships. Let's go here. Ah, we have another daughter who is now our heir. She too will go down the struggle route. Let's see who we can get. Swedish. Greek. 
Done, Mallory, go for traits. Six year old, strong German kid. In Geleer, that's over here. That's not over here. That's somewhere over here. I think. Well, I might be quite wrong. Alright. I feel like we're missing troops. Yeah, a few up there. Right then, we'll land here and make our way to Paris to meet up with our land locked troops as they are. Are we really everyone up? Yeah. So we are evenly matched with the French. Any old baptism will do. We're no longer severely injured, merely scarred, and we're losing troops like crazy already. So let us uh, split a bench. Let's get a few armies out of this. Everybody scatter. I don't want you guys to be attritioned to death. Do we have a siege master? Don't believe we do. So every army gets one guy. I should probably put the center leader into a center and not on a flank. Flank leader gets the flank army. And you get this one. Yeah, we kill a few Frankish soldiers on our own soil. Ah, would you look at that. 14,000 Frankish troops. Let's bring home our 200, add them to our strength. The French are here right now, they'll pop up here in a moment. And they will attack, so we need to move everything we got over there. Which might take a little while, let's make sure we have the right men in here. The leader gets the center. This man goes on the flank, and this flanker leader is a def is an aggressive, not a defensive one, so that doesn't need to be there. And if I am not mistaken, that's all he got, because he's also quite affected by attrition. And he's locked in, so he doesn't get a choice, but to follow through on the move, he committed to and as you can see he's crossing a river and we had all our lovely troops ready and thus will be the deciding battle of this war won by us Oh, I forgot about this guy. Oh, I forgot about this guy. How many troops? 11,000. Okay. How are we doing money-wise? We're doing all right. So... Let's check. What are you? Ah, he's Catholic. That's bad. We can't use holy orders. So we could hire our own. Let's check the cost here. We need to bring home some troops. How many French are left? 9,000. Okay. Um... 
Right, so what we do is we split this further. Move it down here. Move some man back to the island and get ourselves some mercenaries. Where is he? Can't go to his location. We have some 9,000 here doing the siege. We should probably siege Paris. Instead of whatever else we're sieging there. Bring these troops over. Um, what exactly are you claim on Lurigir? I think that's this kingdom here. Okay. The... we have any pacts that we could quickly stamp out of the floor? With this guy... Ah, he has 3,000. But he doesn't want an alliance. Can't have an alliance with our... Doesn't really help us. So we're sending 4,000 back over the channel. And... We'll sit them down at home. No, no, no. The ships stay here. Just the troops move. Want a sea bridge, so to say. Let's see if we can't find someone who can siege. For us. Nope. Architect, maybe. Also a nope. That filter. Hmm. Right then. Put these troops here. They can see just well. And there's a dangerous faction now, these guys. What can we do about these? Nothing much. Well, we should get ourselves some mercenaries. These are very cheap. Well, comparatively cheap. Let's see. All right. We need, let's say, at least eight or nine thousand. These are pretty cheap. The Scottish band. They're not too great either. These would be better, the Breton Company. But they cost quite a lot more money. They are going to be worth it though. So we take them, split them, send half to the continent and half we leave on the island. Or we start with these and see how it works out. Okay, let's get these. Split them. Oh no, that's the wrong split. Okay, I can't exactly split them like I want to. So I send 2000 down to support the mainlanders. Ah, there, there comes the enemy. Okay, we'll leave everyone here for now. Because we see the enemy host approaching. 
I don't know exactly where they're going to make landfall, but we better be prepared. So the dangerous faction is also no longer all that dangerous. Let's put these troops there. Moving away for some reason. There he's back. Oh no. I didn't I didn't watch out for our French troops. Ah damn it. That was bad. Okay, he's coming, so he's going to land in our capital. Pretty much definitely a guarantee. These troops need to bring back home. Wait, 1,000? What are you doing? Okay. Okay, there's, there's more troops coming. Somewhere. I think they're crossing into the island. They're going down somewhere here. Where are they landing? There. The same troop again. Okay, um... Right, let's split this army. Move the 5,000 down here so we can form up to beat the French back. And not go completely broke over all this. Where are his troops? You have 10,000, where are they? Okay, there comes the next ferry load, it looks like. And we will go down to Paris again. And these will just leave there. That's when you kind of leave a little bit of time between playing. You sort of forget what things were going on. Yeah, we should be fine. Even though we're not ideally suited there. Given their landing attack and everything. Look at that. So what do we get for this? He loses his claim. And not much else. Alright, so let's um, split off the special troops, the mercenaries here. Send our Welsh army down here. Set down the mercenaries. Let's split off the mercenaries here as well. How many are they? Seven thousand. So these are the mercenaries. Let's split them one more time. Which ones are the mercenaries though? It's a little bit hard to tell. I don't think that these are Welsh. Are they? Okay, um... You lack a focus? Here, have this focus, enjoy. And marry the Duchess of Blois. So... Oh no, you're not of my dynasty, I don't care. Right, let's group these again. Let's split off the mercenaries again. So these are the mercenaries. We put these ov over here real quick. Now we split the mercenaries and 
stand a part of them down. Just kind of need to hope that the French don't appear before our reinforcements arrive. But we're going to deploy our spy mistress to help spy a little bit. So we get a little bit of view over here. And now we just go and combine forces again. And I think we can speed this up. The invading host is beaten. The French shouldn't be an issue. Oh yeah. I saw a battered French army move around there. They only have 4,000 men left. So let us face them here. I think we inherited something. Hey, okay, Mr. Spymaster, you go Spymaster here as well. Did we inherit something? The Duchy of Northumberland. Now we, we didn't inherit that one. These are all ours, as it is. Alright, so this army isn't ideal. It has two flanks instead of three. The so one of ours has to face two of theirs, but... It's alright. Oh no, we're being called into a war. Against Aquitaine as well. But that war is one that's being won anyway. Let us involve real quick. Just so we can claim we are part of it. Oh no, who are we fighting here? Oh no. I think those were just some French vassal troops. Okay, who can we try to imprison? End your plotting, man. Oh, we become a adept of strategy. Plus one marshal, plus one stewardship. That's not bad. Right, we do have one siege commander ourselves. But we lose the claim on France. Oh, no. She doesn't have it, and she doesn't have it. We have a weak claim on Angoulême. So, okay, let's allow ourselves to lead armies again. And... We'll lead the siege here. Want the best and brightest on our sides. French are invading our island there. The last play. Last thing they can do. But we'll keep sieging them down first. Money-wise, we're not doing too great. But the sieges are offsetting a little bit of the cost here. Earning us a bunch of money every time we win one. Okay, apparently we can't siege further because the rest here is part of Jerusalem. 
Double siege here. No, you can't have our commander. Go away. So these are just vassals of the French doing vassal stuff. But we do have French at home, which I don't particularly enjoy. However, our defenders are doing quite well. Taking out a bunch of Frenchmen. So their military power wanes over there. We will just continue our sieging here. He is now being beaten by one of our vassals. Because they are not fans of having their lands raided. Understandably so. Okay, our besiegers are under threat of various things. Okay, but there we go. What do we get? We get the Kingdom of France. Which is now potentially realm shattering. Uh, no. We are a married woman. We don't we don't do these things. Alright, okay. Bunch of things to take care of. Bunch of things to take care of. Um, my goodness. We have something here in Ireland. I believe it's the trader city. Okay. Right then. Uh, Kingdom of France, yeah. We could destroy the kingdom title. That way we wouldn't lose it. But let's first check what do we need to do. No vassals fighting each other. No count or higher negative opinion of us. So he's going to hate us, obviously. He's our kinsman. He wants a seat on the council. I don't think we can get him all the way up. We'll have to kill him. I hope plenty of people are willing to join us here. Some are. Let's speed this down a little bit and see who joins our plotting. Can we get to 100? Yeah, we are getting above 100. Very good. So who else hates us? Now we have a whole bunch of strong vassals that now need a seat on the council. So let's redo our council there. Uh, Prince Bishop of Champagne. He's a strong one. And he's a decent one for this job. So Marshall. Why do you have so many duchies, man? You have way too many duchies. Duke of Picardy, we are going to go with the ones that are French first. That's what we need. Uh, the other ones are... Yeah, okay, it's not ideal, but... Are you better at anything else? Oops, and you get an honorary title. You can be our capere. Sound good? Sound good. He already is a strong vassal, so we'll switch out our spy master. 
while we're plotting against our spy master. But I think we're going to take this guy to be our spy master and send him somewhere super safe into the court of the Byzantine Empire, which for some reason is Muslim. <laughs> Okay, we're over the vassal limit. Let's see if we can't do something about that. Could decrease our centralization. Losing one allowed slot for what we can hold ourselves, but that's fine. Uh, then again, the vassal limit isn't all that important, really. Let's see. Could switch the noble... Levy around for the church to give us more money or this to give us more money. We're at four out of six. <laughs> uh, can we do more about the plot power here? Right, I think what we need to do right now is we switch to carousing. And we just try to make friends with everyone. Can't really do anything to you anyway. So you'll be released from prison finally after all those years. And we'll transfer you the vassalage of this man. Because he's rightfully part of your domain who you belong to. And Uh, we'll give it to this man. Doesn't really fit, but that way we really uh, reduce our vassal limits a little bit. We could have done the whole revoke, give out duchy title, but we only really have one duchy title to give anyway. It's up here. So we'll have to see a whole lot of factions here. So let's start. Have a private conversation with this man. Let's invite him carousing. He already likes us, but that's okay. Try to intimidate him. Uninvite invite him carousing. Get a non-aggression pact with this man. Wessex. Buy Tim Carousing. Buy Tim Carousing. Tim Carousing. Can't have a non-aggression pact with Ari. What? I invited Duke Eo of Paris for a stroll today, saying I had something to show him. Eventually we came to stop near my torture chamber. I waited there in silence for several minutes while Duke Eo of Paris grew more and more uncomfortable before I leaned in to say, I hope my meaning is clear. Uh... Okay, let's let's try this. And um, 73% that he's going to change his mind on us a little bit for the better. Uh, which one happened? He was intimidated. 
I mean, he has the flu. I would be intimidated then as well. Okay, he didn't want to come to whatever. So let's have some people here. Let's specifically go and invite all the French dukes. Can't really invite you, but you like me anyway, so that's nice. A boy. Don't want to have an non aggression pact with us, and you're at war as well. All right. Go through our counselors real quick as well. Just so we have everyone we can. Don't want him though, he already likes us as well. So let us not do anything here because people are going to be a little bit upset about it. Did we get the Kinslayer for that? Yeah. A shame. Uh. Let's buy some indulgence for our sins there. Maybe we can get rid of it. Okay, let's start our feast. Oh, the Pope went went out of the defensive pact against this. Suppose that's good. All right, very good. The Duke of Berry is now a close friend of ours, so he definitely has a positive opinion of us from going going forward. Where is the Duke of Berry? There he is. Let's see if we lose stressed. No, nope. not. Oh no. We're going on a lengthy journey. By closed carriage in horse together. As we travel down... Uh, okay. You and your guards, throw yourself out of the carriage before it flies over the edge of the ravine. Far behind is your fleeing driver with the horses, but the guards catch up with him and detain the man. He admits having been paid generously to see you suffer a fatal accident during the journey. By our kinsman over here, who has a whole bunch of duchy titles, which is nice because we would like to redistribute those to more duchy titles. Well, to more claim months, honestly. So, this man, we have a 1% chance of imprisoning him. Look at all the landy holes, that's crazy. So he goes to war with us, and we answer, get our troops assembled, stand these down, they don't really help all that much. Get all these troops up over here. Alright, do you want to fight here first? Fight here first.
Come on, people, arrive. Come on, arrive, actually, now. What is this? You've joined him? How dare you? I will cut off your head. First English Civil War under our rule here. We'll squash it. We'll squash it well and good. Where is his headquarters now? This? Yeah. Main holding. Are we leading in this battle? How many ships do we have here? Nine. Not a lot. We have here 21. How many ships can we get from Cornwall? 60. That should be enough to ferry over our French troops. Just eradicate what they got and then we go siege it. Yeah, you don't get away. All those juicy duchy titles. They go to men far worthier than you. Time to see just stuff. These will be the Aroa troops. I'll split this big army into several siege groups. And this 4,000 Frankish army. Oh. Okay. Our friends are rivals to each other. It's not the worst thing in the world. All right, let's hunt them down. And we split these a few times. Get greatest amount of sieging coverage here. This guy gets all the good leaders beside ourselves. We will personally this siege. Right. So the English Civil War will have to be. One, so we can redistribute a few titles here. <laughs>